happy Friday and happy mastery. Today we are doing an old dude. Uh, this is, oh, I'm gonna butcher the name, Mohammed Ibn Musa al Khwarizmi. Got it, okay? And he is actually known as the father of algebra. So as we are working on our algebra rules, when you don't like him, you can be like, al Khwarizmi. Because, you know, you're going to be able to say it too. Anyway, so he lived, you know, a while ago, um, 780 to 850 in Baghdad. And he worked at a place called the House of Wisdom, which I think is kind of cool. They, uh, that The House of Wisdom acquired and translated scientific and philosophic treatises, particularly in Greek. So he did a lot of studying of like the ancient Greek Greeks and all of that stuff. Um, so like I said, he's kind of the father of algebra. So all the rules and all the things that we're learning right now, whoopsh, this guy's ideas, okay? Um, so the book that his algebra rules come from, translated is called The Compendious Book on Calculation by Completion and Balancing. So starting on Monday, completion and balancing is exactly what we are going to be working on. Um, so for solving linear equations, which we're going to do, we don't get to quadratic equations this year. Might wait till ninth grade. Um, one of his principal achievements, yeah, quite, oh, he, he figured out completing the square. Guys, this is a mathematician. I actually know the math that they created. It's stuff I've studied because it's stuff that everybody studies. I think that's kind of cool. As opposed to like the current mathematicians that they're doing stuff I can't even pronounce. Um, alrighty. Because he was the first to treat algebra as an independent discipline and introduce the methods of reduction and balancing, uh, which is exactly what we're going to learn next, he has been described as the founder or father of algebra. In fact, the term algebra itself comes from the title of his book, the world word al jabber, meaning completion or rejoining. His name gave rise to the term algorithm, as well as, and then some words in different languages as well. Um, he, he's actually famous for three books. The second one is the one that even though Brahmagupta is the one that gave us all of our rules for positive negative numbers, and, and that was a couple hundred years before this guy, um, his writings didn't really make it around to like Western Europe and stuff, but this, um, his translations, no, Latin translations of his text, of this guy's textbook on arithmetic, um, really is what established our Hindu Arabic numbers that we use today. So, like his book was the math book they taught from for like, let's see, it was used for looks like 500 years as the principal mathematical textbook of European universities. 400 years. He was the math dude. Didn't get more than that. Like, so it's good to know. Al Khwarizmi. Ooh, I'm getting better. Ha. In addition to his best known works, he also revised Ptolemy's geography listing the longitudes and latitudes of various cities and localities. He further produced a set of astronomical tables and wrote about calendric works, as well as the astrolobe and the sundial. He also made important contributions to trigonometry, producing accurate sine and cosine tables and the first table of tangents. So again, you're not gonna get to that math for a while, but that's math I've actually learned. <laughs> I like it. So thank you, Mr. Al Khwarizmi. Want to make sure I didn't miss anything else? Um, important values. Yep. He constructed a world map and participated in a project to determine the circumference of the Earth, which had long been known to be spherical. Flat Earthers. The like the ancient Greeks, like BC time, knew that the Earth was spherical. I'm just saying. Anyway, but he figured out. He was trying to figure out the circumference of the earth by measuring the length of a degree of a meridian 
through the plain of Sinjar in Iraq. So there you go. They're figuring out stuff that we just take for granted now. So father of algebra, thanks to this guy, we have these chapters we've been working on. Happy Friday.